Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls 2. Last time I left off after character creation, I decided to go with a deprived, just because I wanted to start at soul level 1 and not waste any stat points, and also, you know, that's kinda sorta hard mode, and not that I'm super good at Dark the Souls games or anything, but I feel pretty good about it, so... I want to get that item. Looked like I was just almost able to get it if I faced exactly the right way. Soul of a Lost Undead and a Torch. So those are both new. Soul of a Lost Undead. Soul of a Lost Undead who has long ago gone hollow, used to acquire souls. The soul is the source of all life, and even in undeath or hollowing, the mind seeks souls. <clears throat> now, I know that in this game, you can't level up at every bonfire. Um, it's more like demon souls. There's a character that we'll meet later on, who is the only place where we can level up. Uh, but, you know, we can warp from the outset, so we'll see how that goes. Now, where is my torch? not showing up anywhere. Is it? I don't think so. Belt slot. Nope. I mean, I looked through everything. It's just my imported set. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, we got it, so that's nice. Light torch. Ah, fascinating. Okay, so that ogre behind us has a ring that we very much want to get, but we can warp to this bonfire and come back and deal with him anytime. And I would rather not repeat my asylum demon experience and try to punch him to death and. Unlike the Asylum Demon, I don't have to punch him to death in order to get his item. I can do it later. Whoa, look at all these. Enter the mist. So I think this is, uh, this is how we do tutorial. Right button, attack, right weapon. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, hi. You done been punched. 30, so 30 souls. Target lock, release with the right stick. Right, uh, move the right stick while target locked to change target. Eat fist. I haven't decided what exactly to do build-wise yet. I do know that uh, this game is legendary for nerfing casters compared to demons and uh, Dark Souls, so maybe it's finally time to go with a straight-up melee build. Hold left stick and hold B to dash. That's fine. Hello. Oh, it's an ogre. Oh, 
Oh, that's what we call a fist backstab. Amazing. Behind enemy's back, critical hit. Yes, lovely. What have we here? A dagger! I'm armed! I'm armed, bitches! A standard dagger has only modest attack and short reach, but can be jabbed in rapid succession. With a powerful critical attack, this is a potent weapon in the hands of the capable. Yeah, well, it's my only option right now. Uh, look at that. Oh, yeah. wonder if I can fuck up the ogre now that I'm armed. Left stick and B. Good old dodge roll. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty good. Switch equipped weapon. Well, that's not going to do much for me. That's okay. <clears throat> Backstab. Nice. Fuck you, buddy. What's over here? A life gem. Use item. Yeah, okay. Stick to move camera. Soul of a nameless soldier. Soul of a nameless undead soldier who has long ago gone hollow, used to acquire souls. The soul is the source of all life, and even in undeath or hollowing, the mind seeks souls. Light sconces with a torch. Ah, okay. I missed something important in there. While everything is still dead, I'm gonna go back to the bonfire to heal up. And then, uh. I'm gonna see if maybe I can beat the ogre with the dagger. I'll try it a couple of times. I don't love my chances, but. It's definitely better than not having anything. <laughs> so much like, uh... I forget the name of the crow in Demon Souls, but this is like Snuggly in Dark Souls. That's where we can trade smooth and silky stones for various things. If we kick this ladder down, we have nice access, you know, more or less a straight run from the bonfire to their nest, which feels useful to me. What should I do with a smooth and silky stone, I wonder? So I definitely already have one.
Okay. I should go ahead and leave them my smooth and silky stone. It's definitely a better use for it. Go, go, give it smooth. Leave. I left it in their nest. How does it work? Like, do I just leave and come back? Oh, there we go. did already. Ah, okay. So I got the divine blessing in exchange, which is what? Fully restores HP and cures all status effects. Holy water endowed with a divine blessing cures status effects and fully restores HP. Water blessed by an ancient goddess. Her name is long forgotten, and the magic academy of Melfia denies even her existence. Yeah, Guinevere. In any age, there are those who refuse to see reason. It is their meddling that distorts the truth. Alright. Well, nice. Yeah, 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 I know, I hear you. That was pretty good. I think I... I feel like I got pretty lucky there. Uh, anyway... I'm sure it's not a great idea try and fight the ogre with just a dagger, but, you know. Oh, my dagger got repaired. That's interesting. <clears throat> I know for a fact the, the stone ring is, like, a really good item. Too far? Yeah, I went too far. I might be able to do this. Achievement unlocked. This is Dark Souls. <laughs> My first death. So it goes. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, I mean, this is this is eminently doable. I just need to learn his attacks. And 
get less shitty at dodging him. Oh wow. I'm, uh, I'm missing a little bit of my max health, but not half of it. I think, um, <clears throat> if memory serves, like, uh, retrieval. Like, the more you die, like, like, you hollow gradually as you die more than once. Oh, come on! Keep trying to dodge early, and that's just not going to work. Alright, this ogre in particular, I just, I happen to know, has a ring that's useful for the rest of the game. I wind up with less and less health every time. I'm not about to use a human effigy, though. I only have one. Oh, no. Bleeding. Oh, well, that was... That was rough. <laughs> this could be... This could be the Asylum Demon all over again. I don't think so. Don't get grabbed. Looks like I hollow by 10% every time I die. It's like, I know when, when I'm fully hollow, I'm at half health. I'm just kind of... It would be a trivial matter to go confirm exactly how it works, but that's a reasonable assumption just from... Thank you. Ridiculous. 
I always say that. I always say that. It's just... Anything that doesn't go my way is ridiculous. Always. <clears throat> it's okay. I do like... You know, there are immediately some really, really big differences in this game. It, uh... It definitely doesn't have... And, and I know it's very early. But it seems to be much less committed to the sort of, uh... Show not tell environmental environmental storytelling aspect of the first one. Way to full Halloween. I'm at three quarters of my he my real max health now. It just it takes takes practice. Learn the move set. Learn the exact range. That kind of thing. You guys get to see the whole process. Aren't you lucky? Yeah, it didn't seem to make that big a difference with the Undead Travelers, but I don't know if the resists are different or what exactly is going on, but, uh... One thing I can say is that, uh, this, um... I remember I punched this guy and I was doing, uh, 16 damage with my fist, and even, uh, I, I should be two-handing this thing anyway, even a, uh, a quick one-handed attack does, um, more than double that damage. Come on here. Fail and you fail and then you get good. Stone ring. Oops, wrong thing. Additional reduction of enemy poise. The beloved ring of the gallant shieldless Lothian, formerly of Ferasa, hits greatly reduce enemy poise. The effect may seem trivial, but for those who comprehend how critical it is to exploit a hole in enemy defenses, the significance of this ring will be clear. Well, let's put it on. Very nice. I got a thousand souls for that, too. I know, and I can see absolutely no reason not to two-hand this bad boy. Delicious. Okay. 